All right there, welcome to video number 40. This video is on substitution into expressions and formulae. Formulae is just a plural of the word formula. Don't panic. So the keywords are the same as the other two videos that I've made so far in the algebra section, uh, with the exception of substitution and evaluate. Uh, substitution is um, when you replace a letter for a given value. And when you evaluate something, you're working out the numerical answer to it. The only way you can evaluate an expression is if you are given a value to substitute into it. Uh, and the way that we're going to do that, we're going to substitute into an expression or formula, you'll be given values to replace the letters. We need to replace the letter with the given value and then evaluate using the correct order of operations. If you are not sure what the order of operations is, please go and watch the video in the number section on that. Now in question number one, uh, A, we've got the most simple of all questions. If x equals 3, we've got to evaluate this. If x equals 3, b equals 5, we are going to do 3 plus 5. Substituted the x for a 3 and substituted the b for a 5. And everybody will be able to do that question, no problem at all. In b, we've got b minus x this time. So that's going to be 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. And then this one's slightly different, slightly more complicated, but not too bad. If you remember from the last video, if you watched the last video, um, I mentioned that a number next to a letter means you would multiply by it. So if we've got a value for that letter now, we pop it in there. That means 2 multiplied by 3, and that becomes 6. And then plus, because there's a plus symbol there, 3 multiplied by b, which would be 15. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 and then plus that 10. Okay, and if you add that together, you get 6 plus 15, which is 21, and then add that 10 to get 31. Okay, now in the second uh, question, we've got uh, two different uh, tricky ones. So we're going to evaluate the following if a equals minus 2. Now it's tricky in itself, but it's trickier because we've got negative numbers, and that's always a pain. So we'll deal with those, and I'll talk about them when we get to them. But if you haven't got a clue with negative numbers, please go and watch that negative number video in the number section. So what you do, you write out this expression, but with the numbers in. I'm going to put the, the numbers that I'm substituting in in brackets. OK, so I've got 2, and then a is minus 2. So that's going in a bracket there, and I'm squaring that. Uh, and I'm putting that in there because if you were using a calculator, you would have to put the in your negative numbers specifically if you're squaring them into the calculator in brackets. Otherwise, it would calculate it incorrectly. All right. So then we've got minus uh, the C value. So minus minus five. OK. In brackets there, the minus five, I've substituted them for the place of the C. And then plus two multiplied by F, two multiplied by 12. All right now that it that calculation if you were able to type it into the calculator that would get you the final answer the correct one uh, but we're going to do it without so when you've got a negative number here and we've got to square it and that's the first thing we would do in the order of operations negative number squared is four all right this one is because it's minus two times minus two now that would be two multiplied by four um, minus minus five would become plus five because two negatives stuck together makes a positive. And then we've got a plus 24. 2 multiplied by 12 is 24. Okay. Uh, 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. 8 plus 5 plus 24 is now a calculation that we can... Oh, I put 25. What did I put 25 for? That's weird. Um, so plus that 24 is... Uh, 8 plus 5 is equal to um, 13. And then add the 24 on... We're going to get 37. OK, so our final answer to that calculation is 37. And I will just get rid of that working out. So I've got room to do the working out for B. In B, we've got some brackets and we've got some substitution again to do of these numbers. So I'm going to pop a bracket there, a big one. Then I'm going to put a little bracket and put the minus 2 in. I'm going to add the F, which is 12, in its brackets and then close that big bracket there. That's the that's the brackets that's around this a and f. I'm going to add, and then I'm going to put big brackets again, little bracket, minus 2, and then uh, plus minus 5. And then big bracket around that, and then square it. So we've got to square this whole thing. Let's work out what these, these numbers evaluate to be in the brackets, first of all. So minus 2 plus 12, that's easy, that's 10. Start of minus 2, get to 12. And, uh, sorry, my, uh, start of minus 2. 
add 12 and get to 10. Then we're going to add um, the uh, result of whatever this is. So minus 2 plus minus 5 is just minus 2 minus another 5, which is minus 7. All right, but I'm going to pop that in brackets because we've got to square that before we do anything else. Now, um, squaring a negative number again, we're going to get 49. All right, because 7 times 7 is 49. And then we've got 10 plus 49, which is our final calculation that we would need to do, which is pretty simple. Final answer of 59 there. Okay, but that's really awkward, especially because of the negatives. Right, now moving myself over to the other side here, we've got a final question, which is uh, a formula one. So we're going to substitute into a formula here, and it's all worded and it all seems quite complicated. But actually, if you listen to my explanation, you might find it actually it's relatively simple. I think it's easier than these questions in number two, in fact. Uh, but most students leave these sorts of questions. Now, the formula to find the final velocity of a particle, v, so the final velocity is represented by the letter v, is v equals u plus at, okay? Now, that is a, a genuine formula uh, that they do like you to be able to substitute into these days. If the initial velocity u, which is um, represented by the letter u, um, is zero, the acceleration a is 12 and the time t is 20, what is the final velocity? So we're looking for this value of v. So we just use this formula and we substitute the numbers in that we've been given. So v is equal to 0, because u is 0, plus a multiplied by t. So a is 12 and t is 20. So multiply it by 20. Uh, v is equal to 0 plus 12 multiplied by 20 is 12 times 2 is 24. And then pop that 0 back on. And 0 plus uh, 240 is 240. So we found the value of V. The initial, uh, sorry, the final velocity is V is equal to 240. All right. So I hope you'll agree that that's actually relatively simple. Um, please do like and subscribe uh, and to the channel. If you haven't uh, practiced anything yet, please click in the um, description. There's a link there to resources on these topics. All the number ones are there now. Algebra ones will be there um, in probably a couple of weeks' time. Uh, but obviously, if you're watching it and they're already there, then that, that couple of weeks has already passed um, because that's what happens with time when you get stuff done. And I'm on a video at the moment, so it's just this is me in the past. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I'm waffling now. But, yeah, enjoy. hope you enjoy the videos. Enjoy further, um, keep getting better, and be lovely to each other. Thanks for watching once again.